Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins, and while it's not feudal Japan, fans of Assassin's Creed who've longed to see the series tackle Asia may be happy to know that the game is at least taking a little jaunt to China, though weirdly it'll be part of the DLC season pass for Assassin's Creed Unity. China, I mean, geographically speaking, that's close to what you want, right? Ubisoft hopes? Today, Ubisoft detailed their season pass for the upcoming Assassin's Creed Unity. Yes, even before it's out, I know you guys hate that, which will include a new campaign for the game called Dead Kings, which I'll get to in a minute, and an entirely new game called Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. Chronicles will feature as its protagonist Xiao Jun, who was trained by everyone's favorite Italian, Ezio Auditore, in the Assassin's Creed Embers animated short film from 2011, as she returns to 16th century Beijing on a quest for revenge against those who destroyed her Chinese brotherhood. She, her, yes, it's a girl. According to Ubisoft, Xiao Jun's powerful martial arts skills and new assassin's gear like the Jian sword and foot blade will allow her to eliminate her targets from the shadows or take on groups in all-out combat, explore legendary landmarks like the Great Wall of China and the Forbidden City, and encounter famous historical figures. Unlike other Assassin's Creed games, this one will be more visually stylized, reminiscent of traditional brush paintings, and it'll be 2.5D instead of the full 3D you'd be familiar with, though it does include familiar combat and, of course, leaps of faith. Moving back to, well, Unity, Dead Kings will be an entirely new campaign for Unity set after the events of the main game in a new location, the city of Saint-Denis. The game will feature an extensive underground and new weapons like the guillotine gun, which sounds pretty nasty, a new raider faction, new puzzles, and several side quests. For those missing Paris, it'll also add three new missions there. Aside from that, the season pass will add 30 new items to the game, new weapons, gear, and skills, all of which can be used both in Unity and Dead Kings. There's no specific date for the new content yet, but it will all be released by early next year. So, real talk, what do you think of this announcement? A new campaign and even a new game is pretty significant. Does this make the whole announcing stuff before the game is out issue better, or would you rather just see standalone games released as, well, standalone games? Let us know in the comments. We bring you the best news in video games and entertainment, so remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel and we'll keep you in the know.